Part 3. Customize the SAP Fiori app with SAP Web IDE. Now, we're going to customize the Fiori app with SAP Web IDE. Here is the scenario we would like to go through. The first one, we would like to add the item code to the master list. In the second one, in the detail view, uh, we would like to have in the relevant icon um, stand for the ages and having the contact icon instead of attachment. And number two, if you now if you if you click the uh, icon here, the line detail table doesn't change accordingly. Uh, so we would like to having the um, um, accordingly to display the item table when we select different uh, tab icon here. And for the BP address, uh, we would like to show in the uh, address, street, city, state, and we would like to have a second table, a line table for the uh, contacts. Okay, now let's have a look at in the SAP Web ID. First thing, uh, we would go to the view folder, and then uh, the first one we would like to edit is the master view. Just right click and open with. You have two options. You can open the uh, with the layout editor, which is graphical designer or co-editor. Let's open the layout editor. In the layout editor, you have three kind of uh, uh, screen you can you can uh, you can uh, see it uh, here. So we can select the uh, smart tablet, and then uh, you can uh, you can collapse the red panel, which is the uh, user control panel. The user control like the button, this for the action, to code radio, and you also have in like the list, like the uh, list item, object list. Uh, basically, for our master view, uh, we have a object list view. Um, here and in the right panel we have when you select a specific control you have all the properties for this user control and for this we have a uh, we have a object list item uh, for the uh, master view and you as you can see here was the uh, data mounting with the title this is the card name the card name is uh, a field uh, for the business partner uh, data. If you still remember in the old data we have Explose. And the business partner uh, data set, we have a few car code car name. So that's what it can be bounding here. And you also having the uh, balance, which is as a numeric here. And for the event, you have a press event when you select different item and then you have to handle the event to open the uh, detail view here. And in the right panel, uh, you also having the information uh, like the highlight, like the API reference, uh, as you can see. And then now let's uh, customize the first one to add by adding the card code here. So let's select the item object list and then go back to the uh, properties and then what we're going to do is we would like to add the uh, cargo as an introduction. Eventually, introduction cargo will be uh, showing above the car name. So let's bound the introduction field with cargo. Just simply click this icon. And then now, as you can see, this is the data set for this partner. Cargo is available here. Simply just double click the field you want to bound. Of course, you can format by yourself. Maybe sometime you can format uh, a space and cargo car name, something like that. But as we already have in the car name, so we, we just keep a simple car code as a description. All right, as a result, car code has been showing in the display. And then we can save it. We can give a try it, simply refresh the app. As a result, we have the car code mockup uh, data here, car code, car code above the car name. Next, we would like to customize the detail view. I right click and open with the layout editor. So now in the layout, in the detail view, we have we have the 
in the object header, uh, we have the I1AN and detail title. And as you can see also for, for the other, the table header as well. Actually, this I1AN is located in this I1AN folder and I, I want to add the properties. It's uh, all of the string has been uh, maintained here, used for the multi-language support. As you can see, having the different uh, customization here. Uh, so for the, for the object header, let's add the introduction, uh, the bounding with the car code again, quickly. Now we have the car code as well. And then, the third thing, what I want to do is I would like to uh, replace the icon. Uh, now here, I don't like the information icon uh, because this is a, a JS. So you can quickly using the uh, select icon tool, basically SAP UI5 already embedding uh, a hundreds of icon for your Fiori app design, you, which you can simply just search. Uh, let's say I want, a, I want an icon for JS, just search by the keyword are just and then it look uh, this one will be look uh, appropriate for for my app and the second one is supposed to be a, a, a contacts so just search contacts and this one looks better so now as a result we have two icon has been has been has been changed you can save it and now let's have a look refresh now as a result in the detail object header, now we have the car code, and now we have two um, icon edges, and then uh, and and then the uh, the and then if we swap, now you see the problem. So the problem here is the the line item of the t um, the BP adjust table, it is not changed. Uh, the reason is because if we're going back to the coding here. The reason if we're going back to the icon here, underneath here we have a table, but this table uh, it's always showing why. If you look at the coding, uh, if we let's right click to go to the code and it will open with the code editor. And then as you can see, the structure we have an icon bar inside, we're having two icon top, and then we have another table represent the BPRGS, and that's this one is always outside that's why you're not showing when you uh, switch from one tab to another so we would like to let's say when I click the BP or GS icon I only would like to show in this BP table so simply you can uh, you can you can put uh, put this one inside as a sub element for the icon table filter so to doing so let's Let's copy the, let's cut, let's uh, cut the code. I collapse it and then cut it and put it inside. And then you can right click and beautify the code and you save it. And then now if you refresh again, now we will have a, a BPRGS is bounding this to this tab. When I click, uh, the context you are showing nothing because under the context we don't have any element uh, view at the moment. Okay, the next one is we would like to customize the table for the BPGS header and also the field name here. We only have a two column. Okay, now let's go back to the IDE. So to customize, uh, it may not be uh, very straightforward to customize using the uh, uh, using this uh, uh, the graphical uh, here. And then what I want to do is I would like to uh, simply just right click, right click my table and then go to view it. and then I, I can customize it. So the first one is uh, you, have a, um, you have a header, it, this is the columns, stand for the header, items, uh, this is the, uh, the line details, the quantum of line details. And the header for the, the column header is here, so the first one. Uh, it's an uh, item, uh, item ID column, and then the, you have a second column. Uh, the second column is showing for the uh, uh, table add, and this one is for the number for the numeric uh, column. 
Uh, we would like to have more column here. So we would like to have a column uh, um, one for the address, and we eventually would like to have several column address, street, city, and state and country. For the demo, we just I just would like to show you maybe one street uh, quickly. So uh, let's go back to the SCP web IDE. Uh, first of all, let's add some kind of a, uh, now we're going to learn how to uh, create a, a stream in the property. So let's go back to the uh, I18 properties and then you can go back to your uh, detail view. If you search the, the field, you are, let's go back and to find out where to you define this field. Okay, now this is the first column. So you can customize the first column as you as you want. This one is the ID. So we can customize this one uh, using the our names. So let's name it as a BP adjust. Adjust. And then if you have uh, more, this is the column. For the last column, basically, uh, we're not using this column, but now we would like having more. Uh, so more column, so we can simply uh, copy. It, uh, we can simply copy this, but we need to have a different name. The next one, I'm want to have a street column, and then the con the stream I want to have is street in English. And then if you have more, you just copy and paste have more. So now I would like to add a new column. And then bound with this, uh, this, uh, this stream. Save it. And now let's go back to the uh, code editor. Simply copy uh, this. And then because we don't have in the numeric, uh, so um, I am going to disable this one. I'm going to uh, remove this part. And then now the next one I would like to change. I want to change the the ID we have, the new stream we have. Uh, it will be stream, uh, and then you should do it accordingly. Now this is the header, and for the for the contents, and now we have uh, we have we have one uh, we have one for the uh, BPRGS, and then actually there's another one by default. It's for the numeric. Now the second one we would like to have this one is a ID so the identifier will be highlight uh, something like this this is the ID what will be so, showing like that so the second one we would like to having the just a normal attribute and showing the test showing the test so we will simply uh, going back here and then you can now I'm going to show you how you can using the uh, auto completion control and space and then you have an object uh, Object attribute, uh, object attribute here. Let's use it. And the, you also have a uh, uh, code snippet for us. Uh, basically, we don't need so much information, so we simply uh, just need the need the title or the test. But for us, I only need the uh, need the test. So we can have a test. You can also have a title, but and the test we would like to bounding for the rest. I not. I don't need so much. So probably I just for the test. I would like to bound with the street. So if you look at our all data initially, we have defined in the BPLGS. Apart from the JS, we have street. Um, city. So the second one I want to bound is bounding with this field. So the syntax using here uh, is bracket and then uh, the street. So you need to note exactly what is the uh, field you want to bound with this um, attribute. If you're having more column, you add one more attribute. Uh, you need to add one by one here. So now let's do it. Just stop it here. And now let's refresh our application. Now we all have 
uh, address and and then uh, street column. Okay, so this is the uh, also the stream we can customize. Uh, if you remember in this one, you can customize this uh, here. I say this one is recorded uh, the header as BP stream BP address BP addresses BP address. At this, we we'll save it. All right, so that was the uh, line item uh, we have for the 